Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Yamanaka's Poison here, just meet myself and I back again for another video and today I'm going to be talking about the third DLC pack. See, now I don't actually usually make videos like this talking about DLC, pack and sh uh, DLC packs and shit, but maybe this time I thought I will. So, actually, we're all mainly interested in one thing about the DLC pack, and that's basically the characters. I think for this one we don't really give a shit about the other stuff. So, the characters are actually going to consist of Kirimaru, uh, Tuya, Jirobo, and uh, Sakon and Ukon. This basically the sound four. Um, it's going to consist of those four. Those those are the four uh, new characters that we're going to be getting added to the Naruto roster, making it like a hundred and something fucking playable characters. I don't know. We've got like over a hundred playable characters now. It's, it's quite a lot. So um, yeah, I'm basically going to be talking about what's going to be good about it. Uh, maybe analyze uh, you know what, what's going to be so g good about them, like uh, their skills, if they're going to be long range, short range people. Uh, how fast it can be, um, just just looking at them in general, and just uh, make. I'm gonna make a little topic off it, you know. I'm I'm gonna basically just show the the scans of pictures, cause uh, the Bandai Namco uh, Twitter page been showing pictures, and then uh, I'm gonna show you them as I talk along, and then uh, yeah, you can uh, you can see but uh, opinions and stuff. All right, so basically, I'm gonna be showing you the picture now. It should be Drobo. Um, so it's good that this DLC pack is now show, uh, giving us par uh, characters. Now what I'm hoping is that future DLC packs will actually give us more characters. If they make future DLC packs, they just announced these three main DLC packs. DLC pack 1, 2, and 3, and obviously the third one giving us a sound 4. But I'm kind of hoping that this will encourage them to start making more characters and adding them in. Like the, the sound... Uh, the sound? <laughs> the 7 Ninja Swordsman. Um, they would be a great addition to the game. Honestly, people have been asking for them since Storm 3 when they were in the story mode. I cannot see it being a hassle of them getting added in. Having the store, having the, the Seven Ninja Swordsman being in the game would be great. It'd be such a great idea, and it would pretty much be no more different than adding in the Sound Ninja Four. They were part of the story in Naruto. You know, they had a sort of a reputation. They died off. Sound Ninja 4 and 7 Ninja Swordsman, they pretty much c c same concept, except the Sound Ninja 4 are probably a lot weaker. I mean, they got beat by fucking Genny. But anyways, um, yeah, so as you're, uh, you're probably looking at Jirobo now. Jirobo, I think he's going to be a decent character. Um, I'm, You know, because he's sort of big, he's going to be slow. So I'm, I'm speculating that he's going to be kind of slow, like Choji, maybe, I'm thinking. Um, you know, because he's kind of big. You know, in, in, in past games and generations, you can make the... I think it's like the, the chubby team where you could like do Choji, Akatsuchi, and Jirobo in a team. So yeah, if you had Jirobo, I'm pretty sure he's got mid to long combos, you know, because you've got Kiba and Choji with like sort of longish combos, and you've got some characters like PTS Sakura, you have like really short combos in her combos. So um, yeah, I think he's going to be a pretty uh, decent character. Now we all know what his Jutsu is like, in fact we all know what the, the entire uh, Sound Force Jutsus are, because they've been supports in other games such as Generations and Revolution, so we know what their um, support Jutsus will be. If they're going to have any new Jutsus, I do not know, but um, I would imagine that CT2 wouldn't give them any new Jutsus, uh, it would just be the Jutsu that we've seen them uh, use as support. So yeah, that's a Jirobo. Um, his individual Jutsu is going to be interesting. Now I'm going to think it's going to have something to do with like lifting rocks or something. Maybe he's going to lift like a heavy ass rock because there is actually a picture of him fucking doing like a fucking Goku like spirit bomb looking shit, but with a rock in his hand, a big ass round ass boulder rather than an actual spirit bomb. So I think Jirobo could be a slow character, maybe um, kind of like Choji sort of. Uh, as for infinites and shit, I don't know. I can't really imagine his tilt being that good. I imagine he just throws rocks at people, or maybe uh, he just like shoulder barges you for a tilt. Like, I can't really imagine his tilt being that good. But combos wise, Jutsu or not with Jutsu, it could be exciting. And obviously, we do know that he has the curse mark for his awakening. So, that's exciting. To Yuya. Now, I'm speculating that To Yuya will probably be. Um, there's, there aren't any pictures of her here, so, um, yeah, you're just gonna have to look up her shit, I think. I don't know what I'm gonna be showing, I haven't edited this yet. <laughs> <laughs> to Yuya, because she uses her flute and she attacks from a range. If you remember in the in the tuning exams, uh, no, when they were younger, uh, when the kids were younger, and the, when they are getting, uh, when To Yuya was fighting PTS Shikamaru, um, to Yuya was fighting from a long range within the trees using her flute. The flute summoned monsters and they would fight for her. So that's making me think that she's probably going to use her flute from far away and she's probably going to summon monsters to fight them. Uh, I don't really think she's going to have normal circle combos like, uh, like the, uh, the rest of the characters. She could be kind of like Shino, Daedra, uh, Mu and Tamari just using square ca uh, combo. So you have to use square to use her combos. She'll just sit there with her flute and then she's going to summon monsters and they're just going to fucking go ham, do whatever, I don't know. 
I don't really know how it's going to play out because that's a new type of square combo character. Um, when you're summoning something and it's fighting for you. I guess it's kind of like uh, puppets a little bit, but uh, no, this is just what I think. Um, there haven't been any pictures released yet, but that's going to be crazy. Uh, we do know that her jutsu is very useful. She's been a very useful su support. Her jutsu actually trains the uh, chakra of your enemy as well as doing damage. So if you do hit it, uh, I guess it's good to do a combo cancel and then into the jutsu because you're draining their chakra as well as uh, their health and you would be doing very well. So I can see Tuya being a really good character. I think I might uh, start using her a lot um, when she comes out. Hopefully she has a good moveset. If she does have a good moveset, I will be using her a lot, maybe in ranked matches and... Um, I'll try and uh, fit her in with my other characters and see how I can just uh, mesh with her and the other characters and see uh, how I do. Obviously, her awakening is going to be uh, the curse mark, like I said with Drobo. That's, their awakenings are virtually the same. Uh, her ind individual Omojutsu, I can imagine she summons like three, because uh, I think she has like three uh, summonings for her t uh, flute. So maybe she does all three of them at once and they're just going to do some crazy ass shit. God knows what they're going to do, I have no idea, but it must be really interesting. Moving on to Kido Maru now, we know that Kido Maru is that freaky Indian spider guy, you know, he's been having nicknames across, like that across many uh, YouTube channels, you know, like Indian Spider-Man or fucking weird ass black spider dude. <laughs> no no one, uh, no, not a lot of people were very uh, considerate to his name. His name is Kido Maru, he does, um, he does spiders obviously, due to his, his, his couple of arms and shit and his legs and he's all fucking weird. He, his jutsu is spitting webs out of his mouth and now his jutsu has got a, a perk to it as well, his jutsu actually keeps you in place place so the webs keep you in place and the enemy can do anything to you you can't sub when you're stuck in place so they can do an oma jitsu they could hit you they could just keep you there just so they can charge jitsu or anything they can do whatever you want uh, whatever they want to you and um that's obviously a little bit op luckily the tracking on that isn't actually that good so kido mario you know if you're going to use him as a main i wouldn't use his jutsu as much his jutsu should be used more or less as a support rather than a main and the dog's spazzing around in the background yeah I, like i said his awakening is going to be the same as the others uh curse mark level two um oma jutsu i'm really interested to see what his oma jutsu would be i can imagine that being uh quite interesting yeah, like, just, he's probably gonna summon a spider and spit webs and probably just do, like, a fucking shitload of shit. I, I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't think I've actually seen any pictures of it yet. Um, I'm kind of making this video a bit too early, but I want to make it before the DLC pack comes out. So you can see, without my speculations, see if you agree with me on what I think. I think Kidamaru would be quite a fast character with his combos. Um, I think he might be. I might. I think he might have some infinites. Uh, I think. I think of a good uh, tilt, like a good trapping tilt, maybe like a, a counteractive tilt. So you know how Madara, uh, uh, he has uh, his gun by to defend him, and then he blows you away, or he uses his Susano aura to um, summon a sword and just fucking slash you away. Tilts like that, I think they might uh, induce that with um, Kidamaru at the same time. So that'd be really interesting to see. Uh, honestly, I'm getting excited for these characters. And lastly, we have Sakon slash Ukon. Uh, I think it's Ukon. Is that Ukon? Sakon slash Ukon? Anyways, yeah, so Sakon and Ukon, um, I think... Yeah, I think I got the name right. But yeah, for Sakon and Ukon, um, they're, I think they're going to be more tactical. Kind of like a Shikamaru type moveset. Uh, no, they don't seem uh, like the aggressive type to like what Kidemaru and Jirobo could be. Uh, no, but I still wouldn't know for sure. Um, obviously, it's a dude with the two heads. He's two-faced, obviously. Uh, he has the summoning wall jutsu, I think. Wait, was that it? Yeah, yeah, as a support, you can, he could summon like a big-ass, like, giant-ass wall. I don't know the name of it. I'm not really a big fan of it. But it should be interesting to look at. His awakening is obviously giving me the level 2 uh, curse mark. Um, for his ultimate jutsu, I would have no idea. I imagine he just goes shit crazy with his two heads and do some random shit. Uh, no, I haven't really been uh, too hot on Sakon on Ukon. I never really used him as support. I never really took notice of them as much. But I will be I will be using all four of these characters, and I'm sure he might be a good fast character. But anyway, I'm gonna be using all four of these characters, and I'm gonna basically just try my best to use them to the best of my ability, learn more about them, and try meshing them with my other characters. See, I'm actually really excited about this DLC pack actually the most this is why this this pack is actually the main reason as to why I actually got the season pass is because DLC 1 and 2 were okay we get what like costumes and extra story extra adventure mode shit to be honest I didn't really use any of that the only things I actually use from it are the new ultimate jutsus the new ultimate jutsus are sick I'm sure many of you can actually agree with me on that and I'm pretty sure that many of you could agree 
that uh, the costumes were pretty cool. Everyone did like Sasuke the Last Wandering Shinobi outfit, that was really good. But anyways, uh, before I start spiraling off topic, um, the reason why I like DLC Pack the Free the most is the characters. I love characters so much, just unlocking new characters and like, in any game I just love the fact of unlocking new characters all the time. And the fact that we're actually going to get some new characters is a great thing. Now hopefully if people, if the community actually gets really hyped up knowing that we're going to get new characters and CC2 makes a shitload of money just getting a... Uh, you know, just giving out uh, the, the characters in the DLC. Maybe this might encourage them to give you guys the characters that you want, honestly. If you keep showing your support, I know that the DLC packs haven't been getting a lot of support because they've been given a shit that we've had in, in past games with past DLC, such as past costumes and shit. And I know it's really annoying and really irritating, but you gotta think about it. You guys keep complaining that you want more characters and things. Well, if you want those characters, you gotta show your love and support for the characters that they're giving us right now. Right now they're giving us a, a Sound Ninja 4. Some people were okay with it, some people are like, what, really? And so other people were like fucking happy about it. I'm really happy because I like the sound of new characters. I can see myself using to Yuya and, and Sakon and Ukon a lot. Maybe I might pick up Jiribu, maybe Kidomaru, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really struck on those two as much. But, um... If we just show a lot of support and a lot of love to this, this may encourage and boost them to uh, give us more characters. Because you've got to think, they might be a lot more heavy on making the DLC because this is the last Storm game in the Storm series altogether. We don't know if they're going to be making any more Naruto games, but it will be great to see if they actually start giving us more characters. If you want the Seven Ninja Swordsman, show support to this DLC when the DLC comes out. I'm sure to give us more Seven Ninja Swordsman characters. Um, you know, Ginkaku and Kinkaku, you know, they, they debuted in Storm 3. You know, and it's possible they could give us these characters. They have the character models. They've been introduced in story mode. We fought against them. So they actually have no reason to put, you know, to not give us uh, them, you know? Like, for example, in Storm 3, the, the five Kage, the reanimated five Kage, they came they came in revolution because they already had the character models. They already had the movesets for them. All they had to do was just make them fucking playable and give them to us. So that's what they need to do. If you can think of any more characters they could give us or anything, I'm sure a lot of you have many characters you still want to be added in to the game, you know, favorite characters from some fillers. Some people are saying they want Pakura. To be honest, I don't really think Pakura is going to make it on there because she was a slight filler character and in for a few episodes. Yes, she's epic. Yes, she has the greatest jutsu. I think she's a good KK Genkai user, I think, if I remember rightly. Like, um, I don't know, she's got a certain jutsu and she's really badass, but she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, but um, yeah, th that's why that's basically the moral of this uh, topic is that if you want something Just show a lot of love and a lot of support to these four new characters and hopefully this might drive them to actually add some more uh, Shit to the models of the characters that you want because the models are created They've been in story modes. We fought against them in boss battles All they gotta do is to switch them over make them playable Maybe add a few tweaks because it could be a little bit broken But honestly if you if you show a lot of love and a lot of support we could get more characters and there'll be more future DLC for Storm 4, making Storm 4 more exciting and hopefully they will patch the damn game so we can have fucking spectator mode back because all of us are going crazy about spectator mode, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got to talk about for today's video. I thought I'd make uh, you guys a video because I was absent. Uh, I was absent last week. Uh, you know, giving you guys that time waster of a video. I'm very sorry about that. I was kind of laughing to myself when I was editing it. <laughs> but uh, on a serious note, I'm glad that you watched the video. If you watched all of it, uh, I know it's kind of long. I'm looking at it and like shit, it's kind of long. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. And as always, Jeanne.